Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It Starts At Home and I hope everybody is doing great. I have got many requests over email on my Facebook and as well as on Instagram plus YouTube to show a lot of stuff that we do in science. So going forward now, I am sharing the first thing which is the resources that I use for Vivan uh, for science. I'm showing you all the books. Okay, and I, when I say all the books, I am showing you in like this is this could be part one of the books that I'm following for Vivan in terms of referring or in terms of going or understanding the various science topics that we are understanding as a grade two or grade three kid. All right, so without any delay, let me show this to you quickly. But before I do that, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, like this video, and if you want to see more stuff. And if you think you want to know anything in particular about science or anything else, just leave a comment below or just say hi. All right, so let's get going and let me show you all the books that I am using for Vivan. All right, guys, so I have my books all lined up for you to check and I'm going to be showing you um, each and every book, not in detail, but for you to just know exactly what the book has. So the first book that I'm going to pick up is Physics and this is a great, great, great resource. We have two or three books from the same um, uh, from the same company and uh, it's created by Bashel, written by Dan Green. What all is there? So the book has the contents right here. So the book is divided into many, many um, uh, different uh, parts and basically what they have done is so when you start you have a topic and each topic has a picture representation and some data around it so this could be a very good introduction for the kids to understand or just to know what the topic means so when you use the word friction what friction is and in terms of a picture um, then gravity all right then energy then you have so you have basically different different words so you have earthquake right there you have light crew microwave light and gamma rays atoms so this is primarily a go-to book when you have these different new words the kids read when they're doing their science projects and after that if you think that the child wants to go more detail like into something so you i uh, I've picked up this book called Physical Science Gravity. It's by Scholastic and uh, you have everything about gravity in this. So which is understanding of gravity, extreme gravity on Earth, putting uh, theories together. So this is a pretty cool book to just refer about gravity. Then on the same page, we have a book which is called Simply Science, which is Adams. And when I say Adams and these books, these are all for Vivan's age. And it could be a little easier, it could be a little difficult, but, but you know what, once you are buying a resource, you have to see for long term. So I try and pick up books first and I try and look at recommendations or go to the library and check or go to the bookstores. I see it myself, I take him and if you see that the material is good enough, only then I pick it up and I buy for him. So this is all about atoms, it tells you just everything about atoms and how atoms are made of, early idea about atoms, atoms and elements, molecules and compounds, what is climate reaction and importance of atoms. So this is a great book and um, yeah, it doesn't sort of show the price here. But yeah, these are all like these books are not very, very expensive when I buy. Let me show you another book, which is on uh, another special topic called energy. And uh, this is similar to the same one so like if you're picking up the topic energy you need a resource to read so you have what is energy heat energy sound light energy chemical energy and then all the explanation is done very beautifully here so they have shown you what are sound and light energy then the light energy the Eureka moment the light waves how do we convert fuels to electricity so all those things all the topics and points are covered here but if you think your child needs to know more or if he is like into elements or periodic table so this was i had got him a periodic table uh, chart first and after the chart um, we got this book and i think this book was gifted to vivan by a friend so this book has like if you have sodium you have a little paragraph about sodium and it tells you everything that you have about sodium but he wanted to know more or uh, he wanted to like recommend another book so I picked up this book which is find the truth and then you have everything about 
matter materials periodic table in this book again. So you have a little bit about chemistry and the building of periodic table. So these are the books that we are referring to and plus, of course, encyclopedias and um, a little bit more from Vivan's dad. So he is trying to explain. So that's the way we have gone forward. This, this, we are not following the school curriculum. I mean, these books are not based on the school curriculum. For the school curriculum, I would be showing you a different thing altogether. Um, then to make science interesting and fun, I try and get him these books, which is like push and pull. So this was last year that we used. Uh, so which is CC Love Science. So that's one topic that has been covered, which is push and pull in terms of a story. And it's really fun. And that's my library book. Um, so the whole uh, book is about push and pull. And this, they have shown how they've worked in teams and how the work, like how push and pull works. So this was cute. And then recently we were doing, we were studying about something and I figured out, I found this amazing book. Just give me a second and I'm going to show it to you. Yeah. So it's called Bees and the Honey History. You have everything in this book. Okay. This is a big book. So you have all the information right here. So this is text heavy. You might want to like read it through with your kids. Um... Uh, Vivan is doing it by himself. Whenever he gets stuck with the words, he tries and asks. And then um, this book, we are doing it really slowly because there's so much of text, there's so much of information. But this is all about honey bees, their existence, their history, the work, and how old they have they have been on Earth, and what are we doing? What's going to happen to them now? And how are they useful? So like bees versus elephant, honey bees versus hornets. Um, so there's a lot of good information, like if your child is interested in one topic, you can definitely get a book which is, which could be like this, and um, then to work more, more on physics, I have this Discovery Physics set that I bought for Vivan, and he had to make, um, uh, make this project, so I'm just going to open it and show it to you. It comes with the Discovery Physics sticker book. It came with the first introduction to science book, the visual guide. So he was reading it through and it has a lot of information. Uh, I would say it's text heavy. However, the project was very interesting. So he made the project, it came with all these details and this was the project. It's like how to uh, power this. And I think that of course, his, the manual to make this is not here. But yeah, this is exactly how, if he's reading something, so this is this uh, is good because you're able to replicate or you're able to do a project just to understand the mechanics or just to understand the topic that you're working on. So this was the pressure-powered car kit that he had made. And if your child is really looking for a lot of text and he still wants to know more, then I highly recommend this book called um, How Science Works. And it's by DK and they have amazing content. Okay, this is a text heavy book, so don't get overwhelmed. Only if your child really wants to read and um, you, you have time to explain. Okay, only then. Otherwise, do not overwhelm the child by giving this book to them. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, because these books all are for their age, but this is a little, uh, this is intense in terms of uh, text matter. So you have these amazing topics here. So what is matter, solid, liquid, gas, um, the subatomic world, quantum world, and radioactivity, glass and ceramics, wonder materials, burning and exploding. So you have all these materials right here, but the way the explanation is, is a little more deep. And Vivan wanted to do for atoms and atomic matter for um, for a couple of more projects. And that's how I got the recommendation of this book from my librarian um, in the town. And she recommended this book to me. And this is really amazing. So like he wanted to know about quantum world. And once he learns this and if he wants to know more, then I can get him another book just on quantum world. So that, that's it, guys. These are the books that we are referring to. We have some more books which are like climate change truth or lie in terms of inventors, the element books, force and motion. So as, as you can see, we have all these topics that we are covering 
right now if you have any questions about any of the books i'm going to try and link up all the books down um in the description box you can pick it up for your kids if you're looking for if you like the video give me a thumbs up and if you have any question queries do leave a comment below if you like if you have any of these books do let me know what is your feedback um thanks for watching guys can't wait to share another video with you next week see you